Sleepy head, close your eyes. Mother's right here beside you. I'll protect you from harm. And you'll wake in my arms. Oh, tell me the one about the virus again. Then I'll go to bed. But my boy, you're growing weary. Sleepy thoughts about your head. Please, that one's my favorite. I promise, just once more. Take me back to 2020. That's all I'm asking for. <sighs> okay, snuggle down, my boy. Though, I know you know full well. The story starts before then. In a world... I once would dwell. It was a world of waste and wonder, of poverty and plenty. Back before we understood why hindsight's 2020. Set in the future, The Great Realization by Tom Roberts is a bedtime story that looks back on pre-pandemic life. Then, amidst quarantine, people start reevaluating their lives and prioritizing their loved ones. Just like the author's father, my dad has been at forefront of the fight against COVID, saving his patients' lives while risking his own. And I know it wasn't easy for you and your family, as the virus affected us all regardless of our race, religion, or the language we speak. So, in my retelling of the poem, I represent parents from around the world, united by one universal hope for their children to go to sleep in a safe world. So next time you hear Brahms' lullaby, or any lullaby, know it goes beyond being just a song. It's every parent's prayer to protect their child. You see, we'd always had our wants, but now it got so quick. You could have anything you dreamed of in a day and with a click. <sighs> we know these families had stopped talking. That's not to say they never spoke. But the meaning must have melted and the work life balance broke. Oh, the children's eyes grew squarer and every toddler had a phone. They filtered out the imperfections, but amid the noise they felt alone. <sighs> every day the scars grew thicker till you couldn't see the stars. So we flew in planes to find them while down below we filled our cars. We drive around all day in circles. We'd forgotten how to run. We swore the grass with tarmac, shrunk the parks till there were none. We filled the sea with plastic because our waste was never capped until each day when you went fishing, you'd pull them out already wrapped. And while we drank and smoked and gambled, our leaders taught us why. It's best to not upset the lobbies. More convenient to die. But then, oh, in 2020, a new virus came our way. The government reacted and told us all to hide away. But while we were all hidden amidst the fear and all the while, we dusted off our instincts. We remembered how to smile. <sighs> we started clapping to say thank you and calling up our moms. And while Karkis gathered us, choo, we would look forward to our runs. And the skies less full of voyagers, ours began to breathe. And beaches bore new wildlife that scuttled off into the seas. Some people started dancing. Some were singing, <clears throat> some were baking.
skin. Ah, it's grown so used to bad news. But some good news was in the making. And so when we found the cure and were allowed to go outside, we all preferred the world we'd found to the one we'd left behind. Before you start feeling better. We now call it the Great Realization. And yes, since then, there have been many. But that's the story of how it started and why hindsight's 2020. 20. Guardian angels are near, so sleep with no Guardian angels are near, so sleep.